Look at this. You just lay it down there, there's a special chemical roller, and what happens is, as you roll it, <laughs> if it is fake ink, and it is, look, <laughs> it just takes the ink off like that. See, what I'll do, I'll just put a little, uh, a little stamp on it like that, just so you don't get it mixed up with the others. <laughs> Trickster Paul Zenon showing that you can't always believe what you see. In a hard cash special tonight, we'll be revealing how con artists go about their business and how best to avoid being taken in. First, the story of two fakers who, like Paul, went into the printing trade, although on a rather grander scale. And yes, their money wasn't worth the paper it was written on either. How are you doing, Mills, sir? Keep the change. Thank you very much, sir. Now another man who seemed to have an endless supply of money. How do you do that? The Laird of Tom and Towel is a rather posh title used by an Englishman. Now, Diana, I'm going to get you to choose a card in a minute, and I don't want you saying they're all the same at the end. They are different, right? Now, I'm going to give you a little demonstration of a gambling technique when gamblers cheat. But first, right, choose a card by saying stop, and I'll stop. let them go. Oh, that was quick. Happy with that one? Or do you want me to move on? Yeah, yeah, huh? Take that card, have a look, and show the camera, but not me. I won't look. I've done that? OK, stick it back on there. Now, I want you to cut the pack now. I'm not going to touch the cards till we do the actual trick, right? So cut the pack and complete the cut. Straighten them up. Now, what we're going to do without looking is cut to your card, hopefully. This is what they're doing in Las Vegas if they're cheating. Right, OK. So now, if I manage this, right, you owe me a fiver. But if I can't, I owe you a hundred. That's a fair deal. Hundred to fiver. Yes, is the word you're looking for. All right, here we go. <laughs> OK, and your card is... Hang on. No, yes. £100. No, yes. Mate, you're, you're, £100 for me. You're serious? Yeah, it's not my card. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, 100 quid it is. The only unfortunate thing is I haven't actually got any cash. <laughs> but I have got credit cards. You take credit, I cards. Take credit cards. Good. Because <laughs> that should do nicely. Yeah, well, Paul, credit where it's due. But have you ever been puzzled by a charge in your credit bill? You can't remember. OK, I'm going to show you something strange. Now, what's your name? Gilles. Gilles, OK. And I can tell already you're not from England. You see, I have the power. Mm, you're psychic. Have you got any banknotes on you? Tens, twenties, fivers, fifties, three hundreds, twenty. Twenty per but Actually, I don't want to touch it for the moment. Just show that to the camera, both sides, and then screw it up into a tight little ball. In a ball? Yep, yeah, just screw it up. OK. Now, we're going to play a little game now. OK. You yeah, cos what we're going to do, I want you to think of your dream man. Now, what's your name? Just drop that into the glass there. Susie. Susie. Hold that up, Susie. Now, assuming that you weren't in love with Jill, right, which I know you are deeply, right, just assume, right, that you had a dream date. Two weeks on a desert island with some famous film star, celebrity, TV personality. Don't tell me who it is, cos I'm going to try and make their autograph appear on his note. Watch this. You ready? Have a look at this. Now, let's see. Keep thinking of your dream man. Who's it going to be? Let's have a look. Oh, well, that's interesting. It's got my autograph on it. Paul's, I, I never suspected for a second. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> that £20 could be worth a lot more someday. Famous signatures can change hands for hundreds, sometimes even thousands of pounds. Paul, I reckon, is currently up to about 25 quid. But as he's shown, how could you be sure that what you're getting is the real thing? So if you want to hold on to your money, be sure to join us next Monday at 7.30 on BBC One. Until then, <laughs> goodbye. The police reckon they've got their man, EastEnders, next tonight on BBC One and on BBC Two, University Challenge. Good. Because <laughs> that should do nicely. Oh, that's interesting. It's got my autograph on it.